Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Trevor Sahaki. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Oh, well, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. TV5 is remembering Allison Payne, a former anchor at the station, after news of her passing. She worked at TV5 for many years before moving to Chicago to work for WGN-TV. Payne covered stories around the world, conducting interviews with former President Barack Obama and Reverend Jesse Jackson. After suffering a series of unfortunate health events, Payne moved back to Detroit, her hometown. She passed away September 1st at the age of 57. We are learning Shiawassee County Deputy Daryl Henderson died Saturday in Owasso. The sheriff's deputy says it was due to COVID complications. He likely contracted while on duty in the jail. Sheriff Brian Bajol tells TV5 Deputy Henderson was a beloved coworker with a big smile and a heart of gold. He asks everyone to keep Henderson's family and members of the office in their thoughts and prayers. The annual Bikes on the Bricks Festival continued in downtown Flint. Saturday was the 50 mile charity motorcycle fundraiser ride fundraiser ride in honor of the co-founder of the event, Ed Henderson, who died recently. Events included stunt performers and the deceptively difficult police training course. Different forces are going to compete against one another for the for the for the bragging rights. So, you know, who, who can ride their motorcycle the best to the course? It's very, very tough to do. Easier said than done. The festival ends today with the opening ceremony beginning at 10 a.m., followed by a motorcycle presentation that showcases unique bikes. The beer tent runs from noon to four. And now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Trevor. Well, for today, we start off mainly dry around the area. A few stray sprinkles. It's this afternoon. We'll have some thunderstorms around the area, and that could pose the chance for some strong to even severe thunderstorms. That's as we have a cold front that's stalled out right over the TV5 viewing area, uh, providing some of that lifting. So again, mainly dry through the rest of your morning here. And then as we go into the afternoon, that's when we'll begin to see those thunderstorms firing up around 3 to 4 o'clock, and our central counties even straying down towards I-69. By around 8 to 9 o'clock, that activity will begin to act at the area. We could have a couple of lingering storms and then into the overnight we generally dry out just a few lingering thunderstorms uh, around the area. Then for Monday morning we do have a chance to also see some uh, stray showers and thunderstorms mainly south in the viewing area but then that cold front finally departs and we actually do dry out for the remainder of your Monday afternoon. The Storm Prediction Center does have a slight risk out in the thumb for today. Damaging winds, hail and heavy downpours do look to be the main impacts with any storms that do go severe there. That greater chance of severe th uh, storms in the thumb. The rest of the TV5 viewing areas just under a marginal risk uh, for today. But your forecast overall high is 72 degrees, but that's behind the cold front down along I-69. Those high temperatures will still be in the lower 80s for today. Tonight we settle down into the middle 50s and then upper 40s up north, which will also lend uh, to some patchy fog up north tomorrow morning. 70 forecast does show another good chance for rain Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We're still keeping an eye on that. Temperatures also anywhere between the lower 70s also into the lower 80s and in general things quite it down by the end of this upcoming work week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.